Well, I purchased this nice little analog multimeter off of eBay earlier in the winter. It's um, an Omega MA3E, which actually these were made by um, BBC Metrowatt in at that time in the mid 80s West Germany. Really high quality um, analog multimeter. And I finally got around to, I've been purchasing a lot of test equipment that off of eBay mainly that would say like need repaired or whatever and I got a pretty good stock of it and I just finally got to this one here <clears throat> and started doing some testing on it and found it to be intermittent um, seemed like the uh, positive input the input leads go into the side here the positive input lead you could wiggle it back and forth and you would lose and gain your uh, continuity I guess so I'm thinking okay I got a bad solder joint in there you know this thing's been worked back and forth enough times over the past 25 30 years that there's a cracked solder joint in there so I pulled this whole thing apart and geez it wasn't easy let me tell you I had a heck of a time getting it apart but I finally did actually somewhere in the process of getting it apart I lost I got that adjuster rod there but somewhere I lost that one I'm gonna find it somewhere it's, who knows where in this bench but um pulled it apart and started doing some continuity readings and looked at the solder joints and as you can see um, right there would be the solder joint to that terminal and there's nothing wrong with it at all it's perfectly good shape so I did a little bit of, started tracing around <coughs> and realized that the next point from here was right there and I started wiggling the lead around I had in here and sure enough it was intermittent I'm thinking so well, what the heck's going on there I thought well maybe this the uh, actual um, input maybe on the inside after 30 years was maybe broken inside I'm thinking well, this is just great this can be hard to do anything with because you can see it's totally enclosed so I'm messing around with it like I said I struggled getting this thing apart I had a heck of a time and then I pulled the fuse out and looky there some idiot wrapped a little tiny wire around that fuse jammed it in there jammed it to the point where he damaged that thing where I had a heck of a time getting it out of there Sure enough, that's why it was intermittent. You can see I had to dig that thing out of there, kind of chewed the end out. I hated doing that. This was a nice, really nice meter. Now I just damaged the heck of it, out of it and ripped it apart when I didn't need to. So, um, just thought I'd show this to you. It brought this kind of brought to mind anytime something stupid like this happens, it kind of brings to mind what. Um, a guy by the name of John Ribb told me years ago back when I was only about 21 or 22 when I was working at a small defense contractor he was an investor in it and his original business that he started was a business named Con Air that's not the Con Air with the hair dryers and stuff like that that's the Con Air the plastics handling business and he always used to when he came in and do a tour, he always stopped and talked to me because number one, we always had some really good technical con conversations. And number two, I didn't do any whining and complaining like half the other people in there did. So we had kind of a good rapport. But anyways, always comes to mind what he told me back then when I was like 21 or 22 years old. He says, um, don't assume because when you assume, it makes an ass of you and me. And I ripped this whole stinking thing apart because some idiot wrapped a wire around that fuse and was making intermittent contact. I just hope I can get this thing back together without destroying it. Like I said, if you look at this meter, doggone, I'll bet somebody did that way early in its life and they hardly even used it. So if I, if I ruin this thing getting it apart, I'm putting it back together, I'm going to be really angry. Oh, and there's that little adjuster. <laughs> I just saw that in the viewfinder. Good, I didn't lose it. But you know, there's two perfectly good fuses in there. That's the cover for the battery. 
why you would wrap that thing with a little tiny fine wire and hope that's going to make contact, which it didn't, it was making intermittent contact. I don't know. But anyways, it kind of made me sick. I ripped this doggone near perfect 30 year old meter apart for no reason. I just thought I'd show this to you and take that, take that as a lesson, make no assumptions. Of course, I've been, I've kept that in mind for 25 years, that saying that he had, and sure enough, I get burned by it again. So I'd show it to you.